I'm a paranormal investigator. Many don't understand what my profession's about. It's basically looking for paranormal evidence, finding it, collecting it, and selling for a relatively good amount of cash. For many years, I've been traveling all over the continent, documenting all kinds of paranormal phenomena. Work's become a routine for me. I comb through social media in search of places with unexplained stories of disappearances and murders. I go there whenever I get a chance, set up the equipment, and wait until something unusual happens. My next target is Green Creek. I've been preparing for this place for quite a while now, studying its rich history. In the 2000s, a murderer named Plague had killed countless people over the years, and until recently, many tourists were considered missing. On top of that, Plague is still on the loose, so it'd be safe to assume it's all his work. Or is it? Now it's my chance to find out who, or what, is behind these disappearances. Okay then. Um, I was not gonna, I wasn't expecting like a story or anything. To be honest, I was thinking this was just like a random horror game without a story or objective. <laughs> there we go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Apparition. Now, this game was offered to me by the devs. They offered me to try it out, so I was just like, yeah, why not? It was, what's the worst that could happen? So I'm going to be playing it for like at least 10 minutes because what people tell me, um, it it's sort of like not a actual story game. It's sort of like go around and collect materials stuff like that it's actually not like a full-fledged game where you just kind of go through all these scenarios it's just like a full-on game that puts you in you collect resources you're collecting points to upgrade stuff so yeah we're gonna see what they mean by that and i'll probably only be playing it for like 10 or 15 minutes all right let's take a look at the options the options okay they got graphics they got V-Sync, they got distance detail, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. I was going to turn it up a little bit in gamma for you guys, so you guys can see if it's like too dark. But it doesn't seem like they have that option, unfortunately. That definitely would have been very helpful. And doesn't it seem like they have a sound option to where I can turn it up even more. So, yeah. Those are the only settings. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of that. I'm going to go to high just to make sure I don't lag or anything. And let's get started. Oh. So we got items here that we can bring in. We have a GoPro that we can get. Um, so yeah, this is what I meant about like point collection. You go in, collect the evidence, collect points. And all those points go into here to where you can pretty much buy this stuff just to upgrade your gameplay. Tape recorder, staff, candle, already equipped, journal, book. Yeah, so this stuff is free. Let's go ahead and grab those. I've got a lighter we can use. We got a map. We got batteries. Got this tripod. I also got goggles. What the hell? Oh, highlight all enemies for 45 seconds. That, that sounds interesting. You can grab the lighter on all the free stuff. Go ahead and grab the camera too. Oh, you can't grab the camera? Okay, restart profile then. So, uh, there's very selective things I can get. Alright, we'll get the camera because that's probably going to be important. We have a staff here. Protect yourself. Sounds like it will protect me though. Uh, I don't know if I believe in those some people. Use the power cameras. Uh, 
wow it's actually really difficult to think of what you want to actually bring in to be honest is it like one time use on one run all right i guess let's just bring the staff i guess all right must have them we'll just take those uh what else we'll take the tripod why not or not never mind <laughs> Fine, we'll just take the lighter. Used to light candles. Alright then. Let's go in and see. Low insanity. Okay, so they basically have like a whole Mija thing. If you're in the darkness, then your character starts to go insane. Ah, so you're telling me to put the candle away too? I should probably look at controls, shouldn't I? <laughs> Just to learn how to put that away. Very few people managed to sneak in. Had a good hunt. Uploading. Oh. So, yeah, there is a leaderboard. I really hope it's not like too dark so you get so I would have to go back and like brighten the stuff okay it's actually not all that bright hold on let me check the controls throw rock is G take pictures is utter you I was about to say you never told me how to hide my uh Huh? Oh, so I can't put away my candle. Okay, so. Let's check this outhouse first. Nope. Oh, what's this? Question added. Where the hell are we supposed to be going? Let's go up here. Lag. Leaving the area. What? Oh. We have a journal entry. Alright, so this keeps up with whatever we're doing. Oh. Oh, I can cycle through my stuff. randomly just starts raining. <laughs> Doesn't look like I could pick up anything in there. Is this like a magic night? Oh, I actually can. Okay, my points went up on the top right. Alright, let me just keep checking. Oh, 
was the quickest raid of my life. Okay. <laughs> oh. Where are you? I grab this battery. Oh, hold on. But yeah, this is pretty much just like a little bit of a gameplay. Oh, shit, okay. That's a thing. Oh, dear God, we have the Ouija board. So what are we doing? Oh. Stop. Now. Is okay. So obviously, if you've heard about Ouija boards, you're supposed to say goodbye um, every time you're done, like. It, Connecting with spirits. To be honest, the last thing I want is to see the monster. Before we end off. Where is it? I mean, we're standing out in the open. Hello? Okay, the whole rain thing, going back and forth, is definitely weird as hell. And it should definitely have like a, it should definitely have like a time limit thing. Not, not just like spam the hell out of it. If anything, I prefer without the rain because that just calls like huge frame drop, if you guys know what I mean. Is there no monster? I heard something growling like it was. Oh shit, it's you again. Stop it. Reminds me of Larry, the um, SCP. <laughs> so that thing just is random. After a while, if you start spamming that, that's going to get boring. <laughs> and you will no longer get a reaction out of the player. So that's the thing. So probably shouldn't use that like way too often to be honest. I wonder. Is this the thing I can do? Oh, you can actually leave. <laughs> you can leave at any time. So you can collect your evidence and just be like, dude, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. You actually get experience in XP. I'm kind of sad, dude. There wasn't, like, a monster or anything from what I see. Even though I know there is one. There, there definitely is one. I guess it's kind of a good thing we didn't run into it. So you guys can experience for yourself. 
Okay, so every time you have to buy back in and you have to manage your use point, this is your space usage. I don't think you can increase that either. So every run has to be like a really good run, basically. And clearly, after you learn like all the phrases on the Ouija board, like all of its like little questions, the sheet of papers you found, you could just start doing it like right away and just farming points. So that's actually pretty easy and straightforward. I could definitely say this game isn't half bad from what I've seen. I'm not trying to like show too much of the game because I know there's going to be a lot of people who's going to be playing this on Halloween because that's when this game releases. <laughs> It's probably a good thing that I didn't show a little bit too much because there are definitely some YouTubers that I want to watch this. I'm on the other hand, I'm going to play a little bit more. So I can't wait for you guys to, you know, get into it. But from what people tell me, there is like monsters roaming around. But we didn't get to see any. My first thought was, I wonder if I can like go to the car and hide in it or something. But if I had to say, this game is actually pretty interesting. I don't know what the wood and stuff is for, though. If the devs do see this video, what is what is the wood and metal and stuff for? I haven't really seen a usage for those. Are those just for, like, extra points? That is what I would love to know. But overall, I like the atmosphere. Oh, gee, God, you guys are... Just mowing it out there. But I like the atmosphere. It's just that the whole rain, no rain, rain, no rain, rain, no rain thing kind of gets really annoying and kind of ruins the atmosphere a little bit. I could definitely say that. Like, it makes it hard to see enemies. But if it's going to rain, let it rain for a lot longer. And if it's gonna stop raining, let it stop raining for a lot longer. Because that just literally ruins the atmosphere so much. And that forces some players to pretty much hide if it is raining. Just because they don't want to be out there in the rain to where they can't see the monster or anything. So, since we can enter the closet also, I'm guessing we can also hide from the monster. I'm guessing it's like, hey, we can break into the house but well yeah i seen the trailer that's that's what i was trying to remember Did i actually see the trailer or not there is a monster that can break down the door and stuff like that um so i'm guessing you can hide from it and you can turn off your light i guess to lose it maybe it's what i'm guessing but other than that not half bad it just needs a little bit of work a little bit but overall I had fun with it and I will leave even more details in the comments after I play it again so yeah until then I'll see you guys next time peace out just keep pushing through You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose